on the morning of August 24, CE 79, Mount Vesuvius made a loud cry. It had been enacted for many centuries, but now it had come to out of sleep and burst into full life. Many were frightened and fled the cities to other areas because of what happened during an earthquake 17 years ago. For those who stayed, it became an onslaught of mud and ash. For Herculaneum, the city came to demise by masses of mud. Some of the people in Herculaneum grew smart and fled the city through underground tunnels to get to the sea. For the others, they were swept away by in the sweltering hot mud. No, I've just now got there yet. The story of what happened to Pompeii is one that will always be remembered. Ass, nothing but ass came down the sky was completely black of the powdery substance. Ass continued to fall for two days straight and nothing was left visible. In uh, Pliny the Younger's account, he described it as a pine tree in the sky. There was noxious fumes, ash, smoke, and stones and fumes and mud. Time literally stopped. All the people, animals, and the buildings were completely frozen. Frozen from what you may be thinking. Frozen from the building's high ash. Ash that would harden and preserve. Ash that would harden and preserve bodies, buildings, everything would become an immortal snapshot of what life used to be. For those who did survive, they tried to dig through the ash to get to the homes, but that was all to no avail. And thank you guys for listening to my information on, on the website about Vesuvius.